Hello and welcome. Here is a common scenario. So you just purchased yourself a nice flashy laptop such as this new Dell here for 2025 featuring the Snapdragon X processor, but you've only got two USB Type-C ports here on the right hand side and equally well, equally less equipped on the right hand side with just a single USB Type-A port. Well, if you're a creator like myself and you need to get some uh, footage off when you're in the field off of a USB Type-C connection or off of a camera or using an SD card reader, what do you do? Well, enter the Tobin One UDS 045 doc. So I've been using this here for about a month. I know they sent this to me for review. Quick disclaimer, no money has changed hands. However, all of the opinions that you'll hear in this video are entirely my own and nobody will have had editorial review of the content here. And there's an 18, 18 in one triple 4K display uh, monitor with 150 watts of power output here. So that means we can drive three monitors hooked up with a single USB cable while charging the laptop plus getting all of these port expansion and the beauty is on the back here so we'll take a look at that in just a moment but first if you like my content please click like please click subscribe and click that notification bell so you're the first to know when there's new content available here also if you like any of the products that I review and you wish to purchase them check the links in the description below I often include discount codes to help you save a little bit of money and if you want to support the channel a bit further and enjoy our work use this coffee link in the description below to give us a tip it's a small gesture but it goes a long way to help independent creators such as myself all right so i've got this connected here but let's take a look at what it has to offer first and foremost so let me just get all these wires disconnected so in the box you get a usb type c cable to pair this you know to your host device and of course you get the dock itself you get a vertical stand for vertical orientation and you get a nice usb type c cable and 150 watt barrel pin, barrel pin uh, power adapter if we look at the front of this device here, we can see that it's got a nice, sleek look here. You know, beautiful industrial design, very utilitarian. You know, nothing too flashy. It gets the job done. So great job, Tobin One, on getting the design right. Now, if we'll talk about what the ports are, let's go from left to right on the front first. We've got a power button to toggle this device on or off. Headphone microphone combo jack. We have micro SD card plus a full side SD card. So if you're using a DJI pocket, uh, as I do for some content and footage often. You have a micro SD card slot here and an SD card slot. These both go pretty fast. We'll take a look at the copy speeds a little bit later. We've got two USB ports here flanking that to the right. Uh, both of these are USB 3.0 type A ports. The first one is five gigabits. The one below it is 10 gigabits. You have two USB type C ports to the right of those. These are again, five gigabits and 10 gigabits. Bonus, this one here at the bottom gives you 20 watts of charging speeds here. So you can actually plug in your phone and get that charged while it's sitting on your desk. On the rear here, we'll flip over this way. So from the right to left, we've got a DC 20 volt power pin, barrel pin adapter. This is with the 150 watt power adapter that's included with this device. We've got our uplink here, the two laptop port, which is our host connection. And this is the beauty of this dock here, the UDS 045. So if you're somebody who gets, uh, you know, has faster networking in your home, you do content creation such as myself, and I have a 2.5 gigabit ethernet connection to my NAS where I store all of my content, this is a fantastic thing. That means I can get one single connection to my laptop with the USB Type-C cable, get all of these ports, multiple displays, plus a full feature 2.5 gigabit ethernet connection. Awesome as I can transfer stuff quickly. To the left of that, we have a panel here of ports. We've got two USB 3.0 ports. These are both five gigabits per second. Above that, we have a USB-C or alternatively a display port connection. So these both cannot be used simultaneously either or. Plus you have two HDMI ports here to the left of that. That means you're gonna get one, two, and one of these will be three. Uh, ports for triple display output using this dock and then we have two USB 2.0s here simply for plugging in dongles such as your mouse or your wireless keyboard using 2.4 gigahertz wireless and of course beautiful stand here so this is nice it's got padding on the bottom you can vertically anchor this here and it settles nicely well it's weighty enough that it's not going to slide around and if you're put it pushing in an SD card you may have to kind of put your finger on top to kind of press the card all the way in to ensure that it's fully settled or alternatively you can set it on your desk like so it's not going to be a hindrance so you have some versatility there and how you set this up on your desk now setup here is quite simple as I mentioned so a simple uh, power pin here to the back We'll plug in the 150 watt AC adapter and then just a single USB-C cable for an uplink. This one here and it's a nicely braided cable at that. And you can see here that we're powered on and in business. 
we'll demonstrate that this is actually quite easy to do. So I've got here a portable USB Type-C monitor, which is plugged into the stock here with the HDMI. And we're just gonna demonstrate here using my laptop first. I'm just gonna grab the one cable. This is, by the way, the nicely braided cable that's included with the Tobin Wand dock here. We'll plug it in, single cable connection into my Snapdragon powered laptop. And this one is running Windows 11, of course. And we can see here it takes just a moment. As it flickers, it detects the additional display. And now we have immediately display mirroring going on. In addition, we can also see that as, we, as we've plugged into the dock here, we get the micro SD and the SD card slot, card slot reader here uh, as two additional drives. So we get a drive D and a drive E. So that means this is actually being detected. We're going to be able to use this with this dock here and use these SD card and micro SD card readers to pull content off of this. One interesting you'll hopefully note is that there was no driver required whatsoever. We have not installed any drivers. We simply took this out of the box, powered it on, and I'll grab the USB Type-C type cable, connected it to our host laptop, connected our external display, and bam, we've now got multi-monitor display going on just like that. And since this is a multi-display, uh, you know, supporting mode, so you can extend your display across multiple, uh, you know, your work surface across multiple displays here, we've now got the, you know, large monitor here connected to the UDS 045 dock as well. So this is a 4K 240 hertz OLED monitor. This one here is an OLED uh, 1800p at uh, 120 hertz. And the native display here of this monitor internally is 1600p at just 60 hertz. So we'll plug in the USB-C cable here. I've got this one connected with DisplayPort. This monitor here is connected with HDMI. So we're gonna get two different types of connections here. We should be able to get one at high refresh rate and the other one, you know, the other two displays at 60 hertz uh, for this particular setup. So you can see here that all three monitors here are detected. I'm just gonna grab this over here and we'll show you guys. Uh, and then we can head here so we can see that the, the top monitor here, or excuse me, the native monitor of the display, the internal laptop monitor is running at 1600p resolution. We have this monitor here, it's mirrored almost nearly at 1600p resolution as well. And then we have our large monitor up top here, which is running at 1440 resolution. So we'll go over now and look at the actual refresh rates that are supported with these displays. So we can see that the internal display, 60 hertz, this display here, 60 hertz, but we do have this display here that's running at up to 120 hertz in 8-bit mode uh, and it's, it's cranked the resolution down to 1440 here so there is a little bit of a limitation when you do try to run multiple displays and try to get them all in high refresh rate however if you have one dedicated gaming monitor you should be able to get that to run all the way up to 144 hertz at uh, up to 4k resolution that's what's supported but this has been in my testing the experience that I've seen is that the displays when you connect multiple displays here only one display here can run at the high refresh rate and it looks like it's limited current using display port I've also tested using HDMI as well it doesn't seem to go beyond uh, 120 Hertz but only at 1440 P resolution and in 8-bit color depth as uh, in, as well just a quick copy test here to show the transfer speeds on the full-size SD card slot here so we can see we plugged it in immediately it's recognized we'll go over here just copy uh, some content let's try to copy some video uh, I don't know, we'll just grab this two gigs file here. So let's grab this and we'll place it in videos. So you can see here we're getting pretty fantastic copy speeds here, about 150 megabytes per second, which is you know typically the, the theoretical maximum here at 170 megabytes per second on this uh, type of SD card. Anyway, this is a UHS type two uh, SD card. So it was a pretty fast you know, copy here. I think the speeds of this are very, very good. Of course, it isn't just full-size SD card that we can use. We can also use micro SD cards here, such as this one. This is a V30 that is, uh, I'm not sure what the rating is, but this is also supposed to be a pretty fast card. So let's just eject this first. We'll show you here that that's actually quite easy. Just right click, eject, and bam, just like that. We can safely eject our uh, SD card. And then finally, we'll insert here our micro SD card and you'll see immediately that it's recognized. We see our 200 and some odd gigabytes uh, file. So from here, we'll just copy a few files just to show that you know, it's just as fast. Copy this over here. And let's see, we'll take a look at what our copy speeds here. So we're getting about 70 megabytes per second here, which is of course the maximum speed that I've seen from this particular SD card anyway. I don't think they go really much faster than that unless you go to very extreme speeds or very extreme pricing and uh, performance figures, but then you need a different kind of, uh, you know, 
uh, SD card anyway to be able to do that. So anyway, I think very good speeds here, whether using micro SD card or full size SD card to capture video content or transfer data from SD cards, you know, any of those memory storage cards using this dock here. This is also a very slim dock, so you can easily sip this into the bag. You don't need the, the vertical stand. You can take it with you, take it on the road. It's going to be a fantastic way to keep your light, thin and light laptop with you while still, still being able to get work done and copy your data. One other really neat trick I want to show you about this UDS 045 dock from Tobin Wan is you don't need this dock just for your laptop. In fact, you can even use this for your desktop. So I have here a mini PC from GMK Tech. We're going to plug in this USB 4 cable here to this USB 4 connection. We have two displays here connected via HDMI to the UDS 045 dock. And we'll see here in just a moment. It'll take a few seconds here and we'll flip this on. We'll get both of our monitors displays up and running. And there you go. With one single connection, we get all of the extra ports. We can get wired ethernet connection where it's not available and we can get dual displays here. So in this case, we've got one display here at 4K and another one running at 1800p resolution. And if we look at the actual disfresh, the refresh rates of these displays, we've got this one here running at 100 hertz. We can swap, swap this over to 60 hertz. keep the changes and then this Odyssey here will swap this guy up all the way to 120 Hertz notice it does say 240 Hertz but it's not actually supported at a full 240 Hertz this one can only do up to 4k at 144 Hertz and or and we can see here right now that we're running at 4k at 120 Hertz uh, over the 8-bit connection I'm using uh, the HDMI cable here if you do use the display port cable you should be able to get up to 4k at 144 Hertz out of this with the other display running just at a nominal 60 Hertz at a 1600p resolution so there is a bandwidth limitation. You're not going to be able to run both displays here at the full native resolution. For example, this one 1800 and this one at 4K. So you do have to make a little bit of a compromise there, but still very nice to know that this isn't just a laptop only device. In fact, you can use this just as equally well and equally capably so with any desktop device. All right, so what are my overall thoughts on the Tobin One UDS 045 dock? I think it brings a lot of value. It has lots of versatility. It's easy to slip into your bag and take with you. It gives you quick connections to tons of ports and all of the connections you'd want to have in pretty much any scenario. Works with Windows, works with Chrome OS, uh, even Linux in certain cases, and maybe even Android devices. Although, you know, the latter two have to be tested. Uh, those are not officially claimed by Tobin Wan. If you're looking for Mac, however, you want to look at the UDS 050 and not the UDS 045 instead. So this one does support up to triple K monitor output, 150 watts of power into this thing that can juice up your laptop at 100 watts while still sparing 20 watts to solve, uh, charge some other peripherals such as your a phone or a tablet on the front here. Not the fastest charging speed, but it certainly will help you get everything done uh, with one device. So I think it is a very good device here. Uh, not, nothing else else to say. Uh, no downsides. I like the industrial design. Thanks to Tobin Wan for sending this out for review. If you like the content, please click like, click subscribe, and click the notification bell so you're the first to know when there's new content available here. And if you like any of the content I review, you want to purchase these devices, check the links in the description below. I often include discount codes to help you save a little bit of money. Money. Thanks very much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.